started with superstar Janet Jackson asking for prayers as she cancels concert dates and says she needs surgery. Over the holidays, Janet was forced to postpone her world tour, which had its next scheduled date this Saturday in Denver. The 49 year old Grammy winner tweeted out a statement that said, in part, quote, I need you to know. I learned today from my doctors that I must have surgery soon. It breaks my heart to tell you that I am forced to postpone the unbreakable tour until the spring. Please pray for me, my family, and our entire company during this difficult time. There will be no further comment. But now, Radar Online and other media outlets are speculating that Janet could have throat cancer. A source tells Radar that doctors found a tumor on Janet's vocal cords, and if the tumor is cancerous, it could mean the end to the singer's career. Oh. Janet has not responded to these cancer rumors. Do you think reporting about a celebrity's health is okay or no way? No way! You know, when you say reporting, if it's reporting the truth and you've got facts to back up what you are reporting, but when it's hit, could be throat cancer, it could be a million other things as well. And I think that, that not just celebrities, but celebrities have millions of fans that love them, but, but everyday people have their families that love them and friends. And you don't want to assume anything without facts from a doctor or facts from that person. Yeah. And yeah. this is all to sell That's right. That's right. magazines, That's magazines right. advertising. You don't report anything until it is actually a fact. Yes, well, right. and way by be. the way, even if God forbid it were true and they knew it were true, can you imagine if this was happening to you but you weren't ready to talk about it yeah. yet? Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Or, you're, you know, or, or, or a family member, do you know what I mean? And you're trying to protect the, the sanctity of this process. You know, I think we've all, I mean, Sharon, you, you are a cancer survivor, and we probably all have people close to us who have mm -hmm. either lived through cancer or that we've lost to cancer. Mm -hmm. It's such a painful time, mm -hmm. and it's such a personal time. And the last thing that someone needs when they're going through this is speculation and and conjecture and oh this is it for you know Janet she's just trying to get through this next moment whatever it is we don't even know what it is that's right we have no idea so what? It's the same. Yeah, my whatever happened to the medical press conference they used to have right outside of Cedar Sinai remember when the doctors used to line up with the <laughs> yes. microphones and the yes. white coats and then you knew it was serious that somebody allowed their doctor to get up and say that you know I don't think that's a good thing don't speak cancer into existence for Janet Jackson <laughs> If you want to speculate on something, why don't you speculate on the healing power of Jehovah God in the name of Christ? For Janet Jack. You know, got to shout out to the Lord every once in a while. Thank you, Cheryl. That's right, shout out to the Lord. <laughs> and Jewish people, too. You got to pray for her, Sarah. Y'all knew him folks. Y'all knew him folks. Say it, Sarah. We celebrate everyone. <laughs> in 